the last step is to position and stabilize the graft over the recipient site. So we start with, with some sutures all around the boundaries of the graft. The most important thing is to fix the sutures to the underlying periosteum, so to anchor them to the periosteum, so to stabilize the graft and to link it to the periosteum because uh, it's from the periosteum that the vessels will come and uh, vascularize uh, the graft. So if they have to move, they have to move together. So uh, we have to have a, a single thing between the, the periosteum and, and the graft. We go on with the other sutures all around. Uh, in this phase, the, uh, we perform uh, all interrupted sutures, taking uh, the surrounding tissue and passing through the periosteum to get good stabilization of the graft. So we start from the mesial, then we go to the occlusal portion from mesial to distal, anchoring the sutures to the surrounding keratinized tissue and to the periosteum. This uh, is a 6O suture, PGA suture. And uh, when we go to the apical part, we can uh, start from the primary flap we have fixed in the apical position in the first step. We go through the primary flap, through the periosteum, and then through the graft. And so we, when we tie the knot, we fix all together and we push everything to the, toward the periosteum, both the primary flap and, and the graft. And then once uh, we have uh, gone all around uh, the graft, uh, as you see, we can uh, push the, the graft toward the, the recipient site with some sling sutures. So we start from distal, distal apical. We uh, have the second, the first exit point in the mesioapical. Then we go around uh, the ilian screw. We cross the suture and uh, we tie the knot, uh, uh, pushing down the, the graft toward the periosteum. In between uh, the two ilian screws, we can anchor the sling suture to the lingual tissue. We have uh, not raised. Uh, uh, in the first phase.